Today's lesson is a geography lesson, and I'm going to show you the Montessori land and water forms. The first pair of water forms are an island and a lake. An island is a body of land surrounded by water. Some islands that you might know are Jamestown and Newport. A lake is a body of water surrounded by land. Some lakes you might know are Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. The next pair of land and water forms are a cape and a bay. A cape is a piece of land extending into the ocean. A cape is surrounded on three sides by water. A cape you might know, and I know some of you have been to, is Cape Cod. A bay is a small body of water extending into land and almost surrounded by land. A bay you might know is Narragansett Bay. The next pair of land and water forms is a peninsula and a gulf. A peninsula is a long, narrow portion of land extending into water and almost surrounded by water. A peninsula you might know is the state of Florida. A gulf is a large portion of ocean that extends into the land. A gulf is surrounded on three sides by land. A gulf you might have heard of is the Gulf of Mexico. The next pair of land and water forms is an isthmus and a strait. An isthmus is a narrow strip of land connecting two larger bodies of land. An isthmus you might know is the Isthmus of Panama that connects North America and South America. A strait is a narrow passage of water connecting two larger bodies of water. A strait you might know is the Bering Strait or the Hudson Strait. Okay, the last pair of land and water forms are an archipelago and a system of lakes. An archipelago is a number of islands that are close together. An archipelago you might know is the Bahamas. A system of lakes is a number of lakes that are close together.
A system of lakes you might have heard of is the Great Lakes in North America. 